Hello Scarpers, it's a nice sunny day here and uh, besides the zero degrees Celsius outside it's perfectly perfect weather to sit at home and scrub some old devices. Look at this beauty. This is from 1970 something and from really really old machine. It's like a port multiplicator or I don't know how port hub or I don't know how to call it but this device I will check the pins in this device today. So I will not waste your time and, until I remove all these small screws uh, and razors and everything you can see. Uh, I will speed it up a little and let me show you what we have at the end. Okay guys, so that's after 20 minutes fight with this uh, uh, with this board, I ended up here. Oh, look at this beauty, huh? So many ICs and so nice, uh, so nice swords. I see here. Okay, what is the next step? I have to remove these swords from the board. Let's look at them. I see small screws here. Can I unscrew them? No, these are actually not screws. I have to I have just to cut the ports from the board. Now it's time for some brute force. Look what I'll take. This one is almost ready. I'll just do the same from, from the other side. And let me show you what we have inside. So beautiful pins, huh? Things looks they, they really look phenomenal. Let me cut this. Okay, look at these pins. Look at this nice gold, huh? Great! So so far, so good. Let's continue. Okay guys, <laughs> so that's the result. Look at these pins, huh? What do you think? That's phenomenal, huh? What kind of gold plating is this? It's so thick, so yellowish and so nice. And on the other side, another 16 ports. I'm not counting even the this this ICs 
some of them are Intel, other are different brands. Probably there is some gold, maybe palladium in them, maybe not palladium, platinum. Platinum can be in some of them. I've seen it such old uh, ICs, but these two, I think only these two are beautiful enough to uh, to work scrapping this device. Great. So I will remove all the pins now and I'll show you the final result, uh, the weight of all these pins. And I will put this board in my pile for the population. I remove these ICs with my uh, hot air gun. But now I'm targeting to accumulate some pins because I'm planning to do some videos uh, in the laboratory next. So let's start with the pins. Okay guys, just to show you, let's say, starting the work, how the pins look like. So beautiful, huh? And so far I scrapped these two big slots, um, ports or slots, whatever. And I uh, actually started scrapping these 16 small ones. So only one of them is uh, scrapped and is here in this watch glass. But what I saw, this is remote IF board second computer 1989 so this is not from 1970 as i was told by the seller it's much later 1989 most probably this gold plating that we see uh, best approach to remove it will be with gold sleeping agent i don't expect it to be crazy thick like the 1970s but it's a lot as you can see pretty shiny pretty yellowish and I'll just now continue and remove all these pins from all these ports, show you the final result. Hello scrappers, I'm back. That's the final result, these nice pins I got from this device. And let's measure now what is the weight of these pins. So let's first put this glass cup here and 72 71 72 grams let's say 71 that's what we have and they look so nice look at this beautiful yellow color so what is the gold content here usually of this uh, type of pins we have uh, between uh, half and one percent from the weight is gold. So here I expect between 0 0.3, 0 0.35 to 0.7 grams of gold uh, from these pins. It was a lot of work to reach this point. So uh, up to you guys if you find it worth or not doing this. But uh, what, how I will process them in the next videos. The first assessments I do uh, it's like checking if they're magnetic or not. So this is hard drive magnet. I put it inside and you see really few pins stick on it. And this is really strong magnet. So there is small amount of nickel there. Uh, because there are some pins that are extremely magnetic, but not these ones. So I have two options, to dissolve the base metal and collect the gold foils or to use gold stripping agent and in this case I will have also 70 grams of uh, base metal uh, that will be left to me. I'll decide and in one of my next videos we will see the uh, yield from these nice gold pins. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping and soon we will recover some gold.